through my, I've read extensively the works of Fethullah Gulen. Um, but what I am most impressed by is the extent to which his teachings have been appropriated um, in the lives of people who are very devoted to the principles and the truths that he espouses. Um, over the years, my exposure has brought me to see that this is basically a transnational movement that is rooted in a particular ethos. And I, I understand it to be an ethos that has roots in a Sufi tradition. That it is, so it has, it has a depth of grounding. It is rooted in um, a faith-inspired understanding of the world. So it's rooted in a distinctly Sufi understanding of a love of God um, that is a loving God, that is a compassionate God, that is a merciful God who has intentionally created all of humankind in tremendous diversity. And Islam teaches us that um, God intentionally created this diversity and calls people to come to understand each other, to respect each other. So I think this, the, the works of Gulan promote a particular living of an ethos that's grounded in particular virtues. And I have come to understand these virtues to be at the heart of Islam. Um, virtues of hospitality, um, generosity, um, a type of patient respectfulness for people, um, a charitable concern for the well-being of others, um, also intellectual virtues where there is a concern with developing practical wisdom through education, through face-to-face -face encounters through persons. And what is impressive is I have never met anyone from the Hizmet movement that doesn't embody these virtues. Um, so I think it's a kind of living witness to a type of Islam, which I believe is the core of Islam, um, a promotion of peaceful relations between persons rooted in um, a deep love of God and a respect for the diversity that God has created. And all of their educational initiatives, their charitable in initiatives, they're all committed to um, human welfare, the development of our human capacities and potential and responses to human suffering and need. So I think they provide a model of a very positive way of living in the world. Um, I teach ethics, and um, one of the things I emphasize when I teach Aristotle is that Aristotle says the distinctive characteristic of the truly virtuous person is that they take pleasure in being virtuous. Um, they do virtuous actions not with regret, um, not with hesitation, but a, with a joyful kind of exuberance. And all of my exposure to the schools of Gulam, the hospitals of the Hizmet movement, um, the intercultural dialogue encounters, all of these manifest this kind of joyful ex exuberance in living a virtuous life. And I think that provides um, a witness that is much needed in our world. And I'm particularly pleased that it is Muslim people who bear that witness.